Now out here on the Wicklow Way again today. Mine to Chalet. This is part six. It's uh, October 30th, 2016. And we've been walking for about half an hour or so. Now yeah, we've been walking for about an hour and we've come across this little stream. I don't know if it's a ford, I wouldn't say it's a ford, no, I'd say it's a little stream. And we have a little bridge here for us to cross so we don't have to get our feet wet. It's handy. Still walking on the Wicklow Way. Hasn't been much so far. It's like forests, only little tracks and some little side roads. Hopefully we'll come to another forest or something interesting soon. Because so far it hasn't been very exciting. Now yeah, it looks like we have a bit of a mountain coming up ahead of us. Just passed by a lot of horses there a couple of minutes ago. Very nice horses now. In the middle of nowhere.
Now we're just coming down the other side of that mountain, up over the top, and down the other side. Yeah, we seem to have come to a forest here at last, after coming down the side of the mountain. Pine forest. It's very quiet here this morning, there's nobody around at all. Definitely no other hikers anyway, we haven't met one person so far. So, here we are now, about two, two and a half hours into it. Beautiful weather here for October 30th, 2016, and the Wicklow Way. Definitely not a pine forest. Pine forest on the other side, though. Up through there. It's just a regular trees. They have leaves that fall on the ground, which look lovely. And like in every forest, there's always a fallen tree, isn't there? One that's just fell down some stage for no reason. Beautiful. The silence is just fantastic. Still out in the Wicklow Way today, about four hours into it now. And I've come through that forest now and I've actually spotted a few rabbits which I've never seen before on my way around in the Wicklow Way. There's one straight ahead now. No, it's a pheasant, I think. It's a pheasant, sorry. Um, seen a lot of pheasants this morning as well, out in the middle of the road on my way to start the Wicklow Way. And I'm just at the same one running into the bushes up here now. Might run out again, we might see you. Nice friendly horse or pony, whoever it is, on the Wicklow Way. Yeah, we finally reached the road, and the road is just up here, crossing over a little bridge first. I love bridges, lovely clean water. And we're going to this road now, I imagine there's a bit of road walking involved, which is not ideal, but sometimes you have to walk on the road to get where you're going. Still in the Wicklow way. Still out in the Wicklow Way today. We made a little error back there and then we walked into Tinnahili where uh, we shouldn't have. But um, we lost about two hours in total. One hour there, one hour back. We're back on the trail now, we're back up on the mountain. And it's well signposted now. And let's continue on here. We'll see how far we've got left. Hopefully only about an hour or so, but we'll soon find out I suppose. Yeah, we're just walking back into Chalet now after completing the Wicklow Way and I have to say now that the Wicklow Way is very badly signposted because the end of the Wicklow Way is actually very far away from Chalet itself where our car is parked. So that's section 6 now finished and now we just have one more section to do Chalet to Clannigal and then we will be finished the Wicklow Way.